For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Wars Outdoors with me, Mike. Telling you guys a bit of a review on a product from Camper. So this is the Camper Air Shelter. The Camper Air Shelter has been around for a few years now uh, and it kind of carries on uh, going forward and still with a small slight colour change to the 2021 season going forward. The Air Shelter has been one of those sort of stale products we've seen in, in their range for numerous years. It's one of those things that if don't, it's not broke, don't try and fix it. It comes in two different sizes, so they do a 300 and a 400. With me, I've got the 400 size here. Uh, and again, one thing that's quite nice is the fact is that it's inflatable, very quick and easy to pitch. You've got uh, two beams that you pump up individually, and you can see that from our own at walls pitching and packing video. It took me no longer than probably about three or four minutes to pump the whole thing up. So it means it's brilliant for sort of shorter periods of time. Uh, it gives us air, there's nothing really to break. So you get those sort of winds that are kind of beyond its means in many ways. Worst thing it's going to do is probably bow in, if you can make it bow in, and it's going to pop straight back out again. Again, what you find with a slightly stronger structure than fiberglass, it's going to hold against those higher winds. Essentially, really still is almost very fair weather because it's almost like an umbrella, you know. You've got just a roof, if the wind comes underneath and picks it up, then it's that. It's, it's one of those things you've always got to be kind of, well, very, not careful with how you use it, but it's just being respectable of what it is, you know. And it's not designed to stand up for the strongest winds, but it gives you a good sort of shelter away from the wind and rain, and then also you've got sides which are completely included with this model, so you get a complete set of four, and that allow you to sort of cover away from wind from certain directions or the rain from driving in. And again, because you've got all the sides included and they sort of toggle in place, you can pick and choose what side you have them. It means that it's a very kind of sociable kind of scenario to have everything all in. Um, but, you know, you've got different sort of sizes. I think Definitely the 400 size, either four by four meter, is definitely by far the most, the most popular, just because I think for the price difference between the two, you get an extra bit of space. In terms of pack size, it doesn't take an awful lot of room more either, and both all come with manual pumps. You've got high visibility guidelines as well, to obviously stop hopefully people trip passing over. Pegs are included, and it's Boston valve kind of system as well, so it's a single point, and then you've got a back cap, which you sort of unscrew it. So obviously one point to inflate it there, and a second one to inflate it. So the inflation valve is also a deflation valve, just by screwing a back cap, like I just said. Sides, obviously, as I said, toggle in really nice and easy, so it means that one person can pitch the whole thing quite happily. You've got welding straps located around the bottom, that's basically to make sure that it retains its shape, and you're not suddenly pitching at an awkward angle, and it's gonna sort of affect its structural stability. And mainly because you haven't got any sides, it is more susceptible probably to a bit of wobbling from right to left, but. There's no real way around that. There's no design you can come across without anything in between stopping it happening. You know, it's not the way it sort of runs really. Um, in terms of the, you, when you actually do fair have the walls in place, it certainly stops it sort of pulling out. It's probably it's more, definitely be stronger with the walls in place than it without them. Overall great sort of headroom height straight in the heart of it. And I'll, I'll bring the camera in so you can see the kind of, the flow of kind of the beam systems we've got inside of it. It runs with kind of a 68 denier material, so again, it's a really nice waterproof material, about a 3,000 mil hydrostatic head. As we kind of come inside of it, I said that's the sort of the bone system there, so one beam goes underneath the other, but then you've got the blank wall in place, and to be fair, I think in, in probably in comparing to recent years, this fits a lot smarter, and you don't have so many gaps down uh, around the corners. Merely probably down the side there, if you're being that critical, you can probably see a little bit of a gap, but a really good coverage. And again, it just toggles up into position quite nice and neatly. And to be fair, the new kind of color of the kind of gray, if you will, I think it looks quite smart. It looks fresh, it looks clean. And I think just a nice sort of update. Doesn't pretty much non-offensive. I think in the light we've got at the moment as well, it just kind of almost like reflects a little bit. It's quite nice. You've still got kind of the, uh, the sort of coloring of the beams itself to make it stand out, but I think overall, like I said, it's one of those things that they've not tweaked around with too much. They've kept it quite simplistic, which is one of its sort of main advantage points that it's, you know, it doesn't take an idiot to put up really to be fair. By all means, if you want more information about this product, you can check in the link below. It'll take you straight through to our website where we've got all the current prices on the 400 and the 300 model, as well as the relative pitching videos, the pack sizes, the floor dimensions. Everything you want to know is also there. But by all means, let us know what you think of the actual air shelter as well. 
uh, and if you've got one, how you feel it's performed, because we're always sort of interested to hear feedback from customers as well. But yeah, that's kind of our little video review on the uh, Camper Air Shelter in the 300 size and then also the 400.